Take a look at this proposed synthetic transformation. It uses a Grignard reagent to form an alcohol while at the same time making this carbon-carbon bond. This is great. There's just one little snag. The Grignard reagent that's supposed to react with the aldehyde can also react with the carbonyl in its own molecule, this ketone. This transformation is not going to work. There's a clever approach to dealing with the presence of aldehydes and ketones that can interfere with an organic reaction. It's called using a protecting group to remove the carbonyl compound from the molecule, carry out the organic transformation you want, and then regenerate the carbonyl compound at the end. Acetals make ideal protecting groups because they can be made quantitatively and removed quantitatively, and they're inert to reactions with bases and nucleophiles, such as a Grignard reagent. Here's the scheme I'm talking about. The ketone is treated with an alcohol and acid to generate the acetal. Because the acetal is inert to Grignard reagents, you can then make the Grignard reagent by treating with magnesium. Carry out the Grignard reaction itself to make the alcohol you want, but it still has the acetal functionality. That acetal can be removed by treating with aqueous acid. You've achieved the conversion you want without interference by the ketone carbonyl. Very clever, very effective. Let me show you a couple of reaction details. To make the acetal, you can use small alcohols such as methyl or ethyl alcohol, but usually we use a special alcohol, ethylene glycol, that makes a cyclic acetal. This favors acetal formation because once the first hydroxyl group is added to carbonyl, the cyclization happens readily. This reaction is acid catalyzed and tosic acid is often the acid of choice. Tosic acid is our organic equivalent to sulfuric acid. It's soluble in organic solvents because it has a benzene ring. It has a functional group that looks a lot like sulfuric acid so it's a very strong acid. And there's a methyl group there. You see why we often just say TSOH. And we use benzene as a solvent because it helps us remove water, which drives the acetal formation to completion. The rest of this chemistry is standard Grignard reagent chemistry until we get to the last step, which is done with an excess of water to drive the hydrolysis to completion, and also again uses a strong acid Tosic acid is possible. Sulfuric acid can be used. Other strong acids like HCl. Both the acetal formation and the ketone regeneration are essentially quantitative steps, making acetal formation an ideal approach to protecting aldehyde and ketone carbonyls from interfering with other organic chemistry in the molecule.